When starting to use Apne, one of the first commands you'll become familiar with is the command 3D info. This is like FSL's FSL header command or SPM's SPM vol command. It produces critical information about your fMRI data sets. For example, you might want information about the space and orientation of the image, whether it's oblique or not, what are the number of voxels in the X, Y, and Z directions, and what are the size of those voxels. The use of 3D info is straightforward. Just type in 3D info followed by the name of an input data set. In this case, you can see information about the number of voxels in the X, Y, Z directions, the size of those voxels, and things like the number of time steps or volumes in a data set. You can produce more information by using the all caps verb command. In this case, you might want to know information about the time offset between the slices if you're doing something like time, slice time and correction. This also gives you information about whether the slices, the acquisition is interleaved or sequential and whether it's ascending or descending. 3D info can also be used to quickly grab information about the voxel information. So for example, using the AD3 command returns the size of the voxel dimensions in the X, Y, and Z directions. Likewise, using the dash N4 command will produce information about the number of voxels in the X, Y, and Z directions, followed by the number of time points. You can also find information such as whether the data set is oblique or not. One means that yes it is, zero means no it's not. If you want information about the number of time points or volumes, just type in the NT command and this will return a single number, the number of volumes or time points in that data set. You can see why this would be useful in things like if-then statements. Also, if you want to know whether the data set is in the original space from the scanner or whether it's been warped to a Telluric or MNI space, you can find that out by just using the dash space option. Lastly, you might want to know comparisons between different data sets. So, for example, do two separate fMRI data sets have the same dimensions? And ones mean yes, they do. Zeros mean no, they do not. As you can see, 3D Info has many different options that's useful when performing a standard pre-processing analysis or if you just want some quick information about the data of your data sets. So things like the header information about orientation, space, or the size of the voxel dimensions. The help file is pretty detailed, so if you want more information along with some examples about how to format the output from 3D Info, you can use that by, or you can get to that by just typing in 3D Info and then the dash help option.